We've all heard about El Nino, but what exactly is it? Well, it's a connection or a relationship between the ocean and the atmosphere, impacting climate across the globe. In fact, the amount of hurricanes we see is largely influenced by this unique ocean pattern. And so, or the El Nino Southern Oscillation, is defined by an irregular variation of winds and sea temperatures, which affects climate all over the world. So, it starts in the water, more specifically in the Pacific Ocean, with the two phases of ENSO. The change between El Nino and La Nina directly impacts the amount of hurricanes we typically see in the Atlantic Ocean. So, how does it work? During El Nino years, sea surface temperatures off the coast of South America are warmer than normal. This leads to an increase in wind shear, which tears apart storms. So you could say El Nino is our friend. With an El Nino in place, less storms form. On the other hand, during a La Nina, the complete opposite. The upwelling of water causes sea temperatures to be cooler than normal. This creates less wind shear, allowing more hurricanes to form. Over South Texas, El Nino causes the jet stream to flatten out and become more zonal, while La Nina amplifies the jet stream as it passes over the United States. This has a huge influence on climate and what conditions we see develop over the Atlantic. As mentioned before, wind shear is the biggest factor tied to ENSO. It's also an important ingredient in hurricane formation. Remember, during a La Nina, there's less wind shear, which allows storms to prosper and grow into powerful hurricanes. El Nino brings more wind shear. The higher wind speeds aloft blow the tops off developing storms, bringing them to a halt before they can strengthen. With the waves looking, activity in the Atlantic Basin is forecasted to be above average. Temperatures are warm enough already to support tropical development. In addition, a La Nina is favored through the end of summer, which unfortunately means more hurricanes. And remember, a busy hurricane season doesn't always equate to a destructive hurricane season. Remember, it only takes one storm to make it a active hurricane season. Barbie.